Hello everyone, welcome to the last subtopic of chapter 6, which is 6.3, which are the least principle. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. State Le Chatelier's principle B. Explain the effect of the following factors on a system at equilibrium by using Le Chatelier's principle. The effect either can be concentration of reactant species, pressure by changing volume, addition of inert gas at constant volume, addition of inert gas at constant pressure, temperature, and catalyst. Now class, let's start with the definition of the Le Chatelier's principle first. So if a system at equilibrium is disturbed by a change, either change in temperature, pressure, or a component concentration, the system will shift its equilibrium position so as to counteract the effect of the disturbance. So there are three common disturbances, which are change in concentration, change in pressure, which is caused by change in volume, and also change in temperature. So the net reaction here means shift in equilibrium position of the system to either right or left. So let's take a look at this general equation. We have two reactants A plus B react to produce C. So when we remove a component from the reactant side, that means the concentration of the reactant is decreased. So what will happen is the equilibrium position will shift to the left to reduce the disturbance. Okay. The second case is, if we are adding a component to the reactant side, that means the concentration of the reactant increases. So what will happen is, the equilibrium position will shift to the right to reduce the disturbance. Okay. In the next example, if we remove a component from the product side, that means the, the concentration of the product decreases. So what will happen, the equilibrium will shift to the right to reduce the disturbance. But if we adding a component to the product side, that means if we increase the concentration of the product, then the equilibrium position will shift to the left to reduce the disturbance. So class, to further understand, let's take a look at this equation between nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas to produce ammonia gas. Now, the disturbance is when we increase the concentration of the reactant. So, what will happen to reduce the disturbance or to decrease back the concentration of the reactant? So, the equilibrium position will shift to the right. Okay, so, so to convert the reactant to product. But, if the disturbance is increasing the concentration of product, so what will happen is the equilibrium position will shift to the left to convert the product into reactant. Now, let's take a look in changes in pressure or volume. So changes in pressure or volume is only involved system with the gaseous component. Is only applied for the component in gaseous state because liquid and solids are nearly incompressible. Now the pressure change in three ways: either changing concentration of a gaseous component, or adding in a gas, or by changing the volume of the reaction vessel. Now, class, as you have learned in chapter five about ideal gas. So based on the ideal gas equation, which is PV equals to nRT, the pressure is directly proportional to the number of mole, which is the N of the gas molecules. So the stoichiometric coefficient of chemical equation represents the total number of mole of gas molecule on each side of the equation. So therefore, a system can counteract the changes in pressure by shifting the equilibrium position towards the side with fewer or more number of mole of gas in order to decrease 
or increase the pressure of the system. Now, let's take a look at this example. For equation number one, which is we have N2O4 gas decomposed or dissociates into two moles of NO2 gas. So, on the reactant side, we have one mole of gas molecule. But on the product side, we have two mole of the gaseous molecules. Okay, equation number two, we have nitrogen gas react with three mole of hydrogen gas to produce two mole of ammonia gas. So, on the reactant side, we have one mole of nitrogen plus three mole of hydrogen gas. So, total number of mole of gas molecule on the reactant side is four moles. One number of mole of gas at product size is two mole. Okay, reaction number three, we have two H2O gas dissociates into two hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas. So on the reactant side, we have total mole, total mole of gas, which is two mole. But on the product side, we have total of three mole of gas molecules. For reaction number four, we have ammonium chloride dissociates into ammonia gas plus HCl gas. So since ammonium chloride is in solid phase, so we have zero mole of gases molecule on the reactant side. Okay, but we have a total of two mole of gaseous molecule on the product side. Okay, reaction number five, we have H2O liquid react with SO2, SO3 gas to produce H2SO4 at first. So on the reactant side, we have one mole of gaseous molecule. But on the product side, we have zero mole of gaseous molecules. So, consider this general equation. We have 3B of gas to produce one mole of C gas. So now we have three mole of gaseous molecule on the reactor side. And we have one mole of gaseous molecule on the product side. Okay, so if we increase the pressure... The, so, the equilibrium position will shift to the side with lower number of mole of gas. As you know that because pressure is directly proportional to number of mole of gas, so when we increase the pressure, to reduce the pressure, the system will shift to the side with lower number of mole of gas. But when we decrease the pressure of the system, okay, in order to, to increase back the pressure, so the equilibrium position will shift to the side with higher number of mole of gas. For example here, what happens to the system if volume of the container decrease? So class, because we have learned in chapter 5 about Paul's law, so when the volume decrease, so the pressure will increase. So that's why when volume decrease, pressure increase. So what happens to the system if the pressure increase? Okay, so to overcome the disturbance. Okay, so on the product side, you have, on the reactant side, you have two mole of gas. On the product side, you have one mole of gas. So to reduce the disturbance or to reduce the pressure. Okay, so the system or the equilibrium position will shift to the Right, with fewer number of mole of gas. Okay, what happens to the system if volume of the container increases? So when volume increases, the pressure will decrease. So the real disturbance here is the pressure of the system decreases. So how to increase again the pressure? So if you look at this uh, chemical equation, you have two mole of gas on the reactant side. On the product side, you have one mole of gas. So... To increase the pressure, the system will shift to the left, to the side where we have higher number of mole of gas. So in the next video, we will learn about how the addition of inert gas affects the position of system at equilibrium. Mm -hmm.